Everybody in the world is doing PRP, but I can guarantee you a lot of the offices where you're going to, to get PRP, if you ask them what PRP stands for, they couldn't tell you. If you ask them where are, do platelets come from, they couldn't tell you. If you ask them what are in a platelet that makes my hair grow, they couldn't tell you, but they're doing PRP. PRP actually has been shown mainly overseas actually to stimulate hair growth. There have been a lot of clinical studies done that actually shows PRP works. And what PRP is, is platelet rich plasma. And the reason that a lot of people love it because in your bloodstream, everybody has these platelets. And how they work is when you cut yourself, these platelets go to the area of the cut and release growth factors that makes your body heal itself. So what we do is we draw your blood, take out the platelets by spinning it and make the platelets release all those growth factors and then we put them in a little syringe and after numbing your scalp, we just don't stick it in. After numbing your scalp, we place that serum under your skin, in your scalp, down where the hair follicle is. And the theory is all those growth factors go to the injured hair follicles, just like your injured skin, and repair the hair follicles and make your hair grow. Now, we've seen remarkable results with PRP, but like anything else, after a while, your hair, hair follicles get lazy, so you gotta repeat it. So you gotta at least do it, I'm gonna say once or twice a year. But make sure you go to a place where they can at least know that PRP means platelet-rich plasma. Then there are other things called exosomes. Exosomes are up the ladder from PRP. Exosomes come from a donor, from a stem cell donor, and exosomes are, are basically just packets of proteins that cells use to talk to each other, but these packets are full of these growth factors just like PRP has, but at about 10 times this concentration. So exosomes, you don't have to draw any blood to do exosomes. And the way we do exosomes is we'll make little channels in the scalp, either with the laser or one of our rollers, and then we apply the exosomes on top of these channels. And the reason that exosomes are supposed to be so good, because they're 20 times the potency of PRP. And then there's stem cell therapy where they, you can actually get stem cells from your body. Um, a lot of people usually get it from the area around the love handles, uh, from the fat cells, and you can inject stem cells into your scalp. And that also can stimulate your hair to grow. We at our place, we do not do the stem cell therapy, but there are places that will do that. Um, and then there are new therapies that are coming up that I think that are really exciting injecting minoxidil and Propecia as a solution into the scalp. This is brand new off the press. There's studies from Spain. There's studies from a doctor from Brown University. So why is this good? It's good because guys who are afraid of getting sexual side effects from Propecia or its other medicine called Dutasteride, which is the same kind of medicine as Propecia, you can use these now because you inject these into the scalp so it doesn't get in the bloodstream, so it doesn't go down and affect the areas that you wanna keep in good shape. So I think it's very exciting that this new method and the way this is done is you mix minoxidil and dutasteride or Propecia in a solution, you inject it into the scalp once a month for three months and then the next three months, one time, and then after that's done for three months, every year, one time. And I've seen fantastic results, there's science behind it, and it makes total sense, because one, you don't get the side effects from minoxidil of scalp irritation, because you're injecting it under the scalp, and two, you don't get the side effects sexually from dutasteride or Propecia that a lot of men complain about, because it doesn't get absorbed by your bloodstream to cause any harm to any place that, that you wouldn't want any harm. So I think those are kind of the new treatments that are out there that I really see promise.